He brought handcuffs with him. This whole thing was planned. I think it's kind of cool. It's not cool. It's trespassing, and that is breaking the rules. Cool people make the rules. They don't break the rules. And if those kids want you to break the rules, they're not really your friends. Oh, who are you even talking about? I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm just annoyed. But while we're on the subject, your friend Orin with the long black nails and the cloak, he concerns me. He's a genius. Hey, guys. OK, everybody listen up. April's friend Orin is here. He's very intense and very weird. So if you end up talking to him, just make sure you don't reveal anything personal about yourself. I remember you made me wear a leather jacket. That is the last time you and I see each other for more than five minutes. Howdy, neighbors. Welcome to Human Farm. Here's your animal feed. Please don't feed the animals. Wow, this is really, really cool. I like the statement it's making that, you know, we're all in cages in a way. Yeah, it's actually about death and the city. Yeah, I see that now. Hi, Oren. No, Oren, I don't know how I'm going to die. Wait, are you asking me or telling me? Hey, can I talk to you for a second? Yes, please. April and Andy are about to get married. Wow, my Brita filter's older than their relationship. Wait a second, should I change my Brita filter? I don't know. It depends on how frequently you use it. Stay focused, okay? okay? Please. Look who decided to join the party, bro! That's awesome! Where's your costume? Honey, he's wearing a costume. He's going as lame. <laughs> That's a pretty good costume, actually. But uh, I think the Batman costume is way better. You should go wear that. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to put on a costume because I'm not really attending this party that's at my house. Hey, listen, if you're mad about something, no, you should just. I'm not. I'm not mad. Really? Listen, I feel like you are mad, so maybe you should just talk to us about it. My name's Ben. I'm mad. All right, that was great. Thank you. Thanks for that. Your fingers are salty. I'm going to finish my work. Orin, no, no, stay out. Hi, guys. Remember how I told you there was going to be a surprise later? Well, the surprise is you're not actually at a dinner party. You're at our wedding. <laughs> All right, uh, let's do this. So, for my painting, I chose one of my very favorite Greek myths, the centaur goddess Diaphina slaying a great stag. <clears throat> it's, uh, stunning. It's breathtaking, Jerry. Yeah, it really is. Exactly! Mortality! See, I like to take each day at a time. There's nothing in the world we can't accomplish if we try. I have to go. It's been great talking to you. Hey, you're here. And I brought a bachelor. Are you kidding me? No. You brought Oren? Anne is not some weird, morose mummy. Offense intended, Oren. Let this be a wake-up call about the way you present yourself to the world. I think Anne and him would be cute together. I asked you to do one thing. Do you know how hard I've been working to try to pull this together before Anne gets here? Hey. Hey, you're here. We weren't talking about you. How are you? Well, it's Valentine's Day, and I'm single, and I'm at a couple's dance. Can't imagine a more depressing place to be. What about a wedding where you used to go out with the groom and you're the only one there without a date, so the bride makes you dance to single ladies by yourself? Oh my god, did that happen to you? Maybe. Let's get a drink and then you and I are gonna have some F-U-N. Well, at least the music seems about right. Hey, Ron! Good to see ya. Weren't you a pirate last year? Yes, this is my Halloween costume. Andrew, are you aware that your bathroom faucet is leaking? Are you kidding me? I just stuffed a sock in it yesterday. What else do they want me to do? There's an exposed wire above the bathtub as well. Oh, yeah, shock wire! I call it that because if you take a shower and you touch the wire, you die! Yes, that is accurate. Do you have a toolbox? Yeah. No home is complete without a proper toolbox. Here's April and Andy's. A hammer, half of a pretzel, baseball card, some cartridge that says Sonic and Hedgehog, a scissor half. 
So why do you want this job? Well, I love cats, and dogs sure are great. Well, you have all the qualifications. You went to a four-year college. Uh, actually, when I went there, it was just a two-year college. Wow, so you're not even technically qualified to work at your current job. Oh, geez. You're fired. Get out. No, no, no. You're not fired. But we're definitely going to have to lower your salary. Oh, well, fair is fair. <laughs> I am very, 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 very frightened of animals. This may not be the job for you. I know, but my therapist, Dr. Richard Nygaard, told me to confront my fears. You see Dr. Richard Nygaard? I'm a night guardian, too. Would you sign my cast? Yes, but just please don't give me this job. The spaying and neutering tools, do you think those fit humans? Mm -mm, mm -mm. And is there a lock on the spaying room door? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Thank you so much for coming in. Thanks for having me. OK. Hello, Oren. Thank you so much for applying. Now leave. Hey, give him a chance. What makes you qualified for animal control? I studied zoology in college, and I can control animals with my mind. Get out. I made you say that. I liked him. Well, that was a truly depressing slate of candidates. I think you've got several options. They're all terrible, but you have them. Hey, crisscross. Can we change up the music? It kind of sounds like the end of a movie about a monk who killed himself. You should stay. Don't go back to Indianapolis. You should stay here. You think? Yeah. Yes. It's a great city here, you know? And there are great people. And you've made a lot of friends. Yeah. And what are you going to do? You're going to go back to your old job and hack up people's budgets? <laughs> stay here. Help us build something. I already accepted the job. I'm, uh, I'm staying here. That's good. Yeah, I think so. I'm. Mm -hmm. Orin's behind me, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Okay, so just keep your eyes on okay. me. Don't panic, because you can smell fear. What do just I keep talking to me. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? How's the way? Run! <laughs> how am I supposed to find the love of Anne's life when it sounds like a funeral in here? There's no change in it as long as Chris is depressed. All right, I'm going to go talk to Chris. You go help Anne. She's not responding to my top candidates, so we're going to have to go with some wild cards. Got it. And April, hmm. thanks for nothing. Why should I do anything to help her? Because despite the fact that all you do is give her a hard time, she would do this for you. Just go hide under the table with your friend, Oren. Yeah, I see you, weirdo. OK, this party needs a little help. I'll be right back. So are you going on like a year-long walking tour of the set of The Lord of the Rings in New Zealand? Or? To be honest with you, I wasn't a fan of uh, Peter Jackson's interpretation, so you can put that one away. I think we should do more stuff like this. You know, I think Pawnee needs an amazing arts program. Maybe you should just drop everything and coordinate it. I'm not stupid. What is that supposed to mean? It means that the only reason you brought me here is to distract me from the dog park. You hate this show. I love this show. What's your favorite part? The heavy handedness. Ugh. You know what? I have to go talk to Councilman Jam right now. Why are you talking to Councilman Jam? Because I told him about the dog park idea, and he loves it. He thinks it's a great idea. He's going to support my motion at the city council meeting tomorrow. And he gave me a really cool dental mirror to check out my molars. Our dispute aside, you should be careful with Jam. He's a snake, I'm telling you. Yeah, like I should trust you out of all people right now. Moo. Moo. Quiet, weirdo. Aren't you supposed to be a sheep? No. You are. Oh, shut up. Hey, are you on the lot? Is everything OK? Uh, not really. Public Works put up a giant padlock on the fence and a sign that says no trespassing. That probably doesn't apply to us. There's also a sign that says especially Leslie Nope. Well, Leslie Nope is a very common name. There's a professor in Copenhagen named Leslie Nope. They probably mean him. Do they mean the professor? Yeah, there's a picture of you also. And two huge security guards. Holy mother of Malia and Sasha. I love them both equally. OK, it's that stupid Harold who's behind this. Get here, and we will make a plan. How long do I have to do this? Until I say so, Oren. Stay in character. <sighs>